Hello everyone! Are you looking to make changes to the header of your Webly website? The header is one of the most important parts of your website, as it is the first thing visitors see when they land on your page. In this video, we'll show you how to edit the header on your Webly website, including how to change the background, add logo, navigation menu, and customize the layout. So let's dive in and change the header. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, first thing first, and as always, I will need you to go to the URL section on your browser. So simply go ahead and go to this section over here or in the middle. So let's go here search for Wibbly. And from here, just click on the first website that will be appearing for you, which is this one. So let's go to it and simply as you can see create your website through here so click on create your website and they will take you to that page here you just have to sign up simply you have to put your first name last name and some simple creation of account steps so let's do that real quick here lolly he love and you just fill everything else by yourself so email uh, email and hit password and as you see now I have created the account successfully click on here to add a number to protect your account no more or else you can just click on read me later so let's do this and continue to Squarespace or to square up now let's wait a little bit and they took us back here for some reason so let's do that once more i have no idea what is this bug about but let's do that so as you can see all right this is really bug as you can see let me just do this again all right here as you can see i want a personal website so let's try Webly website and here you are going to select a theme so as you can see here Simply just choose a theme that will be fitting your kind of business or portfolio, whatever it is. So here you will find multiple kinds of themes that will fit multiple kinds of domains from business, portfolio, personal, events, blog, and here you will find some coming soon. So it will be, well, it's not available for now, and then others. So for example, for a blog, you will have these kinds of templates, events, these kind of templates, personal as well, and the same go for portfolio. And you might say that there are some limited amount of templates that you can use. Well, yeah, this is the case because you have the free version. So let's keep going with this free version and let's choose this one. Here you have to choose and pick the kind of um the template that you'd like so let's choose this one i guess um i will go for another one actually so okay let's go for this one and let's click on it and then go to start editing through here like that we have went into the actual website we have created it we do have everything ready so guys this is the header that we are looking for so it is this part of the website that you can see here which has the navigation uh, menu here the logo or the title of the, the website and here you can see the search icon so now as you will be able to see or notice everything here is actually editable so for example let's start with adding a logo here we have three formats we have text logo and off what does it mean so you can either choose to have a text as your logo a logo as your logo and off which is turn turn everything off so you don't have anything for us let's try a logo first so after you click on it you will have this page here you can get image url from browser or you can just go to your computer and upload an image let's start uploading an image so let's try this and as you can see here it is now here we will find the navigation uh, section menu so let's click on it as you can see here these are the services 
and home etc 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 so here it is the main menu to be able to change it well you can see here the pages as you can see so here home services team contact so whenever it creates a new page so let's try to create a blank page so as you see here it will be header type header visibility public and here is your setting you can edit it later on but anyway here let's add a name so news let's name it news for example and as you'll see it will be added over here so here it is the page as you can see it has been added directly into the main menu of course if you'd like to move them so you can uh, let me just do that so as you can see here uh, they are more like let me just fix that as you can see home team services contact news so services has is no longer the second we can make it the third like so and uh, here we go services is the, th the fourth now and here we can make the news the second so like that and uh, here it is so now i will make you how to make a drop list menu so all you need to do so focus with me on this here news all right let me just create a new page i'll name it sports for example so sports and its uh, sub menu is sports so what you have to do is drag it below it like so so don't make it in like the edge no make it a little bit inside and as you see here if i push my uh, mouse over news you will have sport as you saw here so now we have made a drop down menu here as well you can let me just go to build and let's go to the home page all right here you'll find the search button here as you see you can either show or hide it so it is completely up to you and uh, search box hidden turn it back on if you'd like to turn it back on you can turn it back simply from theme and here you will find the theme options and simply you can search box turn it on so this is simply it as you can see and here you can find collapsed menu which is the actual mobile thing so you can turn it on and here banner background so if you'd like to add any kind of banner background you can add it through here but for us we will just keep it simple as that you can even change the color of the theme from light to dark one as you saw here um, let me just close this google thing because it is really really annoying uh, x please always uh, as you can see it has became from the light mode to the dark mode and finally when you think that everything is looking pretty much cool and done you can click on here to publish it over here so you can just click here and of course you will have to add the domain name and or either like buy it from Webly itself so overall that's how you can edit your header in Wix uh, or, or Webly.com I mean so as you can see here everything is looking pretty much changed than the beginning if you made like uh, if you went back to the first uh, page that we have landed on and this one this is pretty much changed it has changed completely guys uh, even it was white it becomes now like in the dark mode and uh, we changed the logo we changed like the menu itself some categories in the menu and of course finally here we changed even the colors of the hovering of the menu so as you can see here if as you can see now it is yellow i can make it green like that and it will be changed to, into green in a couple of seconds so yeah guys this is completed i hope you like this video if you had any questions please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will answer all of your questions guys thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video